U.S. Virgin Islands located around 40 miles east of Puerto Rico. They consist of four larger islands St. Thomas, St. Croix, St. John and Water Island. There are about 50 other smaller islands. The capital city is Charlotte Amalia which is located on the most visited island St. Thomas. Around 1.2 million people visit this island annually. St. Thomas is the most popular port of call for cruise lines with two docks for them. Also there are a number of airlines that offer direct flights from the US mainland to St. Thomas and St. Croix. St. John does not have an airport. However you can easily get there from St. Thomas by short around 20 to 25 minutes ferry ride. Also if you rented a car on St. Thomas you can take a car to St. John by riding a car ferry. There is a seaborne seaplane that gives travelers a fast and convenient way to connect between St. Croix and St. Thomas. The flights are only 25 minutes between these two islands. If you are traveling with kids, you should visit Coral World Ocean Park, a marine park and tourist attraction located next to Cokie Beach on the east end of St. Thomas. The park features underwater observatory tower, which descends 20 feet in the ocean to allow underwater viewing. There are activities like touch pools, aquariums, watching animal feeding and sea trek helmet dive which offers you to walk and breath underwater exploring marine life. Park animals include sea turtles, stingrays, juvenile sharks, sea stars, conch, sea cucumbers, iguanas, sea lions and others. Many of the animals, such as the turtles, are rescued from the wild and released when possible. If you are visiting the island by cruise ship, right across from the one of cruise ship dock located Skyride to Paradise Point. You can take a short tram ride from the base station to 700 feet above sea level to see the spectacular views of Paradise Point. There are restaurants and shops at the top where you can relax, eat, shop, drink and enjoy one of the best views in the Caribbean. In addition to white sandy beaches and snorkeling, U.S. Virgin Islands have a ton of other things to do. While visiting St. Thomas. You can walk and explore Charlotte Amalia. Take a historical walk at 99 steps and visit Blackbeard's Castle. The temperatures vary between 70 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit, with an average of 78 degrees. The best time to visit the U.S. Virgin Islands is April to June, when you can expect mild weather and very little rainfall. The hurricane season officially lasts from June to November. The Virgin Islands lie in the main pathway of many hurricanes originating in the Atlantic Ocean, so they often get hit. The peak season in the Virgin Islands runs from December to April, when hotel rates are the highest. The U.S. Virgin Islands are well known for its beaches, and for a good reason. The beaches are incredible. There are a number of beaches that offer good snorkeling. You can easily spot sea turtles or stingrays by just snorkeling off the beach. According to National Geographic Majin's Bay which is located on the north side of St. Thomas, is one of the top 10 world's best beaches in the world. This almost a mile long beach offers amenities such as restrooms, showers, beach rentals such as chairs, kayaks, etc. Virgin Islands National Park is located on the island of St. John which covers roughly 60% of the island. The park is more than just beautiful beaches, it also offers hiking, snorkeling, beautiful views. If you are visiting St. Croix one of the must-do attractions is touring the rum distilleries. There are two world-class distilleries on the island Cruisin and Captain Morgan. For a small fee you can take a guided tour of a rum distillery and learn the history of rum and how it's produced and best of all you get to enjoy tropical rum cocktails. The US Virgin Islands is a place that every US traveler should check out. It's easy to access from the US, does not require a passport and offers some of the best beaches you'll find in the Caribbean.